I mean, in Ghana, this uh, game of hope, I mean, after two years, we are going to, Mike is doing it again to support the kids. Um, that's um, something that all the footballers in the world have decided to help him and uh, do it. So it's important because um, if you look at where we come from, what we've been through, we don't want these kids who look up to us to go through that. That's why it's very, very important for us to support so that we can use what we get to help those in the village because we are like their idols, their role models. So it's really, really important to me, especially because my village is very bad. So I, I'm really looking forward to, to this. Um, I know people, a lot of people need water. The light is really poor, especially in the villages. You know, you see a young, a young boy or a young girl, you know, waking up early in the morning, going to the river to fetch water for the whole family at the age of 10, carrying a big bucket that you, you know is, I mean, that you know you can, he or she cannot carry it, but because of the situation they are in, he or she has to. So those are the problems. And uh, malaria, they don't really have mosquito nets, you know, so it's really difficult and very sad when we go to Ghana and we see this. We really feel bad about it. Football in Ghana, people are so crazy about football. Like in Ghana, what, what, like they don't really even focus about other games. All they know is football. All they know is football. You can see a lot of people sitting somewhere arguing about the game. You can, you will never hear people arguing about tennis, athletics, or anything. Every kid in Ghana wants to play football. So all the fans in Ghana, huh, if you go and you talk about football, they start to love you. <laughs>